So this is a kind of an exciting video for me because uh, at the end of 2020, which wasn't that long ago, uh, I had reached out to a few companies um, because one of the things that I wanted to start doing on this channel, most of you know that I'm an iPhone user. I've used iPhones since they first came out. But, you know, I wanted to expand. I wanted to take a look at the different Android phones that are out there, really kind of get those onto this channel as well. So, like I said, I approached or sent out little emails to a couple of them. And the first one to get back to me was these guys, Poco. Yep, Poco with their M3. So kind of exciting and something that you guys should uh, hopefully keep an eye out for because we are planning on doing more and more uh, Android-based smartphones over the next year, Start starting with this one. So our hopes is that this is kind of smartphone smartphone number one because our hope is that we will be able to really talk about some of the, I want to say to start with, more of the budget friendly Android smartphones because, you know, I went online and I was looking at, of course, Apple's, uh, the iPhone SE, and in Canada, that thing is still $600, 600 bucks. That's not really budget friendly. Uh, this, the Poco M3, if it does everything that I think it will be able to do for people that are just looking, you know, at a good smartphone, something that can do everything that they kind of need it to do and don't need the biggest and best of everything. This thing comes in right now at about 130, 140 bucks US. That's really, really accessible. So this is it here, the Poco M3, more than you expect. 48 megapixel triple camera, 6,000 milliamp hour battery. That's a big battery. Uh, Snapdragon 662. So this video, we're going to take a look at what comes in the box. We're going to start it up just to take a quick look at it, make sure it physically works. And then we're going to do a part two video, which is going to come up in about a week or so, because um, I don't really want to do a review of it until I get a chance to play with it. So I'm going to play with it for the next week after today, and we'll do a we'll do a follow up video. All right, guys, that's coming up. All right, the Poco M3 uh, capture everything. Look at this. Three camera system, which is great. Macro camera, main camera, and a depth sensor. Yep. Uh, this doesn't shoot 4K video. As far as I know, it does only shoot 1080, but for most of us, that is plenty. It is a 6.5, 6.53 inch screen, I believe it is. So a fairly big display, which is great. Uh, large 1080p full HD plus display. So that's super good. Yeah, 6.53 FHD plus. And you're looking at... 90.34% uh, uh, screen to body ratio, which is really nice. It does come in a bunch of colors. So it comes in a blue, a yellow, and a black. And I'm not sure which color I have. Uh, dual speakers, uh, big battery, like I said, especially if you're someone like myself coming from iPhones, 6,000 milliamp battery, crazy. You're looking at 40 hours of call time, 196 hours of music, 17 hours of video, and 583 hours of standby. Wow, that's, that's, you know, and, and again, you know, the thing to realize is this is out of a, a phone that's in the U.S., like 130 bucks. So you get a couple options here. Uh, RAM, four gigs, that's across the board. You can go either 64 or 128 gigs of internal storage. And then, of course, with a micro SD card, you can put upwards of a 512 gig micro SD card inside it. So plenty of upgradability of storage. Again, for those of us that have come from the Apple iPhone world, that's you don't get a chance to do any of that kind of storage, especially being able to add storage with an SD card. And this has, like I said, 128 gigs in there for $130, which is, which is nuts. Good enough, you guys. I'll put Poco's website down below if you guys are interested in going to take a look at it and see it. Uh, you can also look at their X3 and their uh, F2, I believe it is. Yeah, F2 Pro if you want to jump up to a different one. Anyways, here's the Poco M3 box, 6,000 milliamp. Comes in a yellow box. And I'm pretty sure, doesn't matter which phone you get, they all come in this yellow box, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but that's my thoughts. Let this open up here. 
and Poco. Poco. This is going to be your, I guess it's like your, your, your manual. Oh, so you get your, your SIM, SIM card removal tool, which is important. And you get, yeah, a little manual. And, oh, look at that. You get a case. You get a case. Really. For a hundred and something dollars, they don't make you go out and spend $50 on a case. They give you a little case. And that, that's all right. It's, it's rubbery. You know, it's going to help. Is it the best case in the world? Probably not, but way better than no case. That's, that's... Why, why don't the big flagships do this? That's handy. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. I think I'm going to enjoy doing some of these Android unboxings. And again, thanks, Poco, for sending this. You guys, you guys are awesome. And we have a Poco M3 48 megapixel. 6,000 milliamp, 6.53, Qualcomm Snapdragon 662 processor. This is all information that I'm like, I have no idea. I'm, again, this is not my world, but it's going to be. And I got the yellow. Actually, that's kind of nice. I like getting ones that are a bit different because we all know what black phones look like. That's all right. If I peeled that off. Yeah, that's okay. I don't mind that. It's kind of a matte finish on there and it's got a texture. Hopefully you guys can see that. Got a little texture on it. And this little sticker here is coming off. Very nice. Yes, I like I like that texture on there for sure. There's your triple cameras. Poco. I've already got it all smudgy. That's okay. It is what it is. All right, anything else in this here box? My guess would be yes. Actually, a fair bit of stuff. Okay, not that that's useful here, but because this got sent out to me, not not a big issue. Uh, they gave me a European version of the plug, but if you were to buy it, you depending on which one you got, I'm sure you could get it with a North American plug. Just I got it, but it comes with a plug. It comes with an, a plug adapter, and of course, it comes with uh, a USB C to USB A cable, and a nice long one at that. And you know what? I don't. I'm very happy with the fact that Android phones, for the most part, use USB-C. You know, that's, that's in my opinion, a huge perk. All right, so here we go. It's got a neat design, actually. It's kind of got this rounded. It feels like it's got a curved display, in, and it doesn't. You guys can see it here. This is just kind of a lifted display on it. But there's going to be your speaker on the bottom, speaker on the top. Headphone jack, headphone jack is good, and I'm guessing microphone, possibly microphone again. On the side here, you got your SIM card, and this is going to be uh, I don't I don't even know, maybe your back again. I'm not I'm not overly familiar with with uh, Android phones, so this is super exciting. This is a button that does something, and this is another button that does something. One of them's got to be power. I'm thinking. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this one. Hold that one down. Anything? Bottom one. Oh, something happened. Poco. I should, I should get a cleaner. A little cleaning cloth. So it's powered by their... I don't even know how you pronounce that. My, my, U, my UI uh, operating system. But it's that's based off of Android version 10, is what they were saying in the, in the app. All right. My UI 12. All right, I'm with you. Click. English, United Kingdom. Do I have just a normal English? I want to say, apologize, UK guys. Do you have a US English or Canadian English? There he is, US English. Okay. Uh, everything seems like it's very responsive, which is good. Canada, yeah. Terms and conditions. Do I have to scroll to the bottom or anything? Check. Checking for SIM cards. Skip this. I don't have one in here right now. Connect to network. Sure. Let's go into this one. And I'm going to put my password in here. Connected. Super good. Checking for updates. 
And it is a big screen, I have to say, and it's nice and clear. And this is one of the other reasons that I didn't want to uh, do a review of this right now, because I'm, I'm not overly familiar with this system. So I want to be able to play with it for the next week. So make sure, make sure you watch for that. It does say that it's installing updates right now, so that's also super awesome. Oh, look at that. Bring your data from an iPhone device. Okay, it does look like it's something that's doable. I don't want to do it right now, so I'm going to say we're fine. Just a sec. All right, more signing in. Yeah, I have to say, uh, keyboard and everything seems like super nice. All right, we're finishing this up finally. Finally finishing it up. But I have to say, I really don't know what I'm doing. That's kind of exciting, like I said. I set my pin, I'm good to go. Oh, I had a fingerprint. So that must be also a fingerprint reader. All right, so. Got a decent vibrate when it's going through that fingerprint setup. That is successfully. Very good. All right, so it looks like it's just finishing its setup, doing its all its stuff, uh, which is good. Adding finishing touches. So this is kind of the end of this video. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys what came in the box, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put this little case on, right? Oh yes because why would you not want a little case on your on your new phone for free free case it's even got a little little protector down there just to keep liquid and stuff out of your USB C port that's fantastic i like that it gives you different appearances too for do you like it to look like this or do you like it to look like this i don't i don't really know i'm going to go classic or i'm going to go limitless Done. Applying. Setup is complete. All right, guys. So I'm going to leave you guys here. Uh, again, I'm going to put links down below to Poco if you're interested in this. But make sure you come back in about, I'd say about a week. We'll do it. We'll do another video because uh, it'll it'll give me time to actually uh, play with this phone and let you know what I think of it because. I have a feeling it's a nice size. It's got, I like, I like the, it's kind of got a, like a curved back on it, which I really like too, which is very nice. And weirdly enough, I, I don't mind the yellow. So very cool. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you there. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that, hit the little bell. And yeah, make sure you uh, come back about a week from now when uh, we do the, do the review video. All right, guys, later.